so let's talk delegates. Um, first thing I'm going to do, just to get us started here, I'm going to make a method. Foo, I don't know why Foo is so popular among programmers. I see that all the time, and of course I have adopted it. But I'm going to put a trace statement in here to show that Foo executed. I'm going to call Foo, I'm going to run this program, and we see Foo's output. So hopefully you have no questions so far. This this should be pretty straightforward if you're at the at this level. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say delegate void me delegate. I don't know if I can spell it right. Okay, so what the compiler does when it sees this is it actually turns around and it converts it to a class me delegate. Or like this. Uh, okay, so so that in, in, in the underlying. Wow, I d I'm doing a little bit too much SQL. You see, I commented out with the double hyphen. In the underlying um, missile that's output from the compiler, the compiler just turns around and turns this delegate into a class. And since this delegate is a class, I can do something like this. I can say, uh, me delegate, del gets new me delegate. But look at the c constructor that the compiler generated for us here in the background. It it takes this void print print target, which is a syntactical way indicating that we need to pass a method here. And the method returns void, takes no arguments. Well, I see a method right here that returns void and takes no arguments. So I can literally just pass foo right there. Now now hold on, don't don't let this twist your brain too much. All right, don't don't be too scared, because you're used to seeing methods like this where we invoke them, we call them directly with parentheses, and now I'm not invoking it; I'm just passing it. All right, and just don't let this scare you. Let me let me show you something here. I'm going to say del. Uh, let's just print print. Okay, now del is a reference to a me delegate, which is technically a class. Thus. This is a reference, but notice I'm I'm treating this reference like a method here, and that's kind of that, that's the compiler giving us a little bit of support. It's basically it can be a reference, it is a reference, but it can also look a little bit like a method. Here, let's run this. Okay, there we go. So we still see foo output here. Okay, and because foo's the the method that we pass to the delegate constructor. All right. Now, first of all, I just want to tell you this is a little bit of syntactical sugar. Meaning, when the compiler sees a delegate followed by a paren paren, uh, it just replaces that with an invoke call. So part of the generated class that the, uh, the compiler makes from this delegate declaration right here uh, is the compiler puts an invoke method on it. So whether I do del paren paren like this or del dot invoke, it's the same thing. The compiler just turns around and makes it an invoke. So here I'll just run this and prove that there you go, there's foo. Um, but it's kind of interesting because this is sort of referencing the foo method. In fact, we can think of it that way. That's the beauty of delegates is del references foo. And so del, yeah, it's a reference to an object, but it's kind of a method at the same time. So it's nice that we have the, the compiler conveniently lets us um, treat del as a method, even though it really is a reference. In fact, if you notice here, I say new me delegate. This is also, yeah, we can do that. We can instantiate classes. You've done that hundreds of times. But the compiler lets us uh, remove that. And I can just say, hey, del references foo. Okay, foo's a method. Del's a delegate, and it's just, it can reference foo. Okay, and then I can invoke del down here. Same way. So, Well, you know what the compiler does when it sees this? It just turns around and puts back in the new me delegate like that. Oops. Okay, but but it's kind of nice because we can start to warp our brain a little bit. Instead of thinking in just classes, objects, uh, fields, methods, those kind of things, all of a sudden now we're treating functions. This is a, this is a term you'll hear a lot from functional programmers. We're, we're treating methods, functions, sorry, I'll, I'll mix the terms up a lot, but we're treating methods as first class objects, meaning now I've this method is now an object, so I have a reference to it. I can invoke it like this. So I can say del, uh, oops, need a, let's put a semicolon del. I can do this all day long. So I'm going to invoke it three times, press any key to continue here. Foo, three times. All right. Um, in fact, 
just to show you that it's more uh, uh, of a function, a first class object, I'm going to static void invoke the delegate. And let's pass a me delegate here. I'll call it Deller. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit so we can see all that. Go down here. And I'm I'm going to just say Deller print print. Okay? So that's kind of cool. All right? Watch this. I can say invoke invoke the delegate and I can pass del there. I'm passing it's kind of like passing a function. All right? And then let's just here I'll even step through it just to make it more intuitive. If we go here, we say del is going to reference foo and then we go and invoke the delegate. And so we passed in del which is referencing foo here and then evoke the delegate runs it. So so here we have the output. All right. Now let's let's make a goo method. I'm just going to copy and paste this. All right. So we got foo. Let's make a goo. That'll be a goo. And so I can say invoke the delegate del. In fact, I don't even need this temporary variable here. I can just say, hey, you know what? Um, invoke foo. And let's invoke goo. <laughs> Doesn't that look a little interesting? All right, don't don't let it hurt, hurt too much. It's it's actually pretty straightforward. Foo is a method. I can pass a method. Goo is a method. I can pass a method. When I pass them, the compiler it sees that I'm trying to pass it to a me delegate here. So the compiler actually will instantiate me delegate. The compiler just inserts this code for us. But we don't have to have to see it. It's nice that we can just treat them directly as objects instead of having to say new everywhere. Either way, we pass these in and they they get invoked. So let me run that you can see foo and goo. Anyway that's a uh, hello world delegates. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of videos on delegates and uh, explore the ins and outs of them and get real comfortable with them.